Well, I just got down to Buck Hollow Sports here. Boyd called me and uh, to let me know my bow is in my new experience. And I'll tell you what, this thing, uh, this coming out of the box looks pretty sweet. The first thing I definitely noticed was the new carbon core limbs. Um, they're definitely, you can tell, have a better finish than the uh, Invasion or Insanity before it. Um, a couple other things, key things on this bow when you, when you go to look at it, these revolver dampeners. We've got three of them on the bow. Um, one on each end of the, of the riser and then one right here on the string stop as well. Um, these definitely look like they're going to help a lot with, with any vibration that's in these Bowtex and from my experience there's usually not much. Um, one more thing in terms of new features on this bow, we've got this new string stop here, the clutch string stop. So what that allows the, the string to do is come into the string stop and not stop and vibrate um, at the shot. So one thing to, to keep in mind is it's, it's got the same or similar binary cam system, the overdrive cam system, which makes it easy to tune. And speaking of tuning, um, I've got Boyd here, which Boyd's, we're going to set up this bow here in a little bit, but Boyd, talk about some of the first things you're going to do when we get a hold of uh, this experience. First thing we'll do is pop your rest on, get a center shot going on the bow, get everything squared up, then we can put it in the draw machine, we'll get the cams timed, we'll sync your yokes, with these overdrive binaries, we can really get this thing really close to a bullet hole before we ever even draw the bow. Now, Boyd, it seems like on paper, Bowtech has built the perfect hunting bow with the deflex riser, seven inch brace height. I mean, the axle to axle, it's not too long, it's not too short. It just seems like a great bow for the blind or the tree stand. But from a speed standpoint, you've set up your own experience. What's that doing? My actual experience is actually shooting a tiny bit faster than my insanity, which drives me insane, but it is. It is uh, definitely a very underrated speed bow, and I'm hearing that from everybody. These things are really ripping. So uh, I think everybody's going to be pleasantly surprised when they get a chronograph in front of their bow for the first time. Well, that makes me excited to get to shoot this thing again. Just pulled it out of the box. I've never shot an experience before. This is the first left-handed Black Ops uh, bow that experience that Boyd's gotten in. So let's get this bad boy set up and I'll take a few shots with it. All right, well, we just got the new, uh, my new Bowtech experience set up. So we're going to take a couple shots and, and I'll let you know what I think. Again, first time I've ever shot this bow. Wow, definitely a lot smoother uh, than the Insanity. There is no shock or vibration at all at the shot. So Bowtech's definitely got a winner here. Now uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna take a few more shots and get this baby dialed in a little bit and, and uh, we'll make a few, run a few arrows through the chronograph next. Well, we've got this, uh, this experience sighted in. We've got it super tuned and ran it through some paper. Um, now we're going to run a few arrows through the chronograph. The first arrow I'm going to shoot is a Bloodsport HT1, my hunting arrow, weighing in about 500 grains. And uh, I've got Boyd's 3D arrow, actually, this uh, Victory X-Ringer HV. It weighs in at about 312. So we're going to run these two arrows through the chrono, see if this bow is uh, meeting or exceeding IBO like everybody says it is. Um, it's, it's smoking fast, and it's just a pleasure to shoot. So we're going to run these through the chrono. Well, after shooting this experience and running some arrows through the chronograph, I can see why Bowtech is super excited about the new experience and frankly so am I. I can't wait to get it out in the timber and do some turkey hunting and some 3D shooting. As you can tell, for a 60 pound bow set at 27 and a half inches, this bow is smoking fast. Our 312 grain arrow, that Victory 3D arrow, was right around that 302 uh, feet per second mark. And then my hunting arrow, my Bloodsport HT1, that's right around the 500 grain mark 
was coming in at 244 feet per second. So that 244 mark, that's a foot per second faster than my 60 pound insanity. So that's pretty impressive for this brand new bow that IBO is at 335. So I. I guarantee you the experience won't disappoint. I'm super excited. It's a huge improvement. Even though it doesn't look or feel like it's a huge improvement from that standpoint, it is a big improvement when you get to shoot it. It's, a, it's an experience to shoot. So thanks for watching Bones and Broadheads today. And remember, when you're checking out these new 2013 bows, shoot straight and shoot often. Thanks for watching.